So you might be in a situation where you're getting this type of pop-up inside of ChatGPT when it's telling you that the model is not found. Now, this can happen for a couple of different reasons. Number one, the main reason why something like this ends up happening could end up being your version of ChatGPT is using a different version than the models that are supported. So right now, we're transitioning over to ChatGPT 5. In the future, it's going to be 6, 7, 8, 9, whatever, right? And all the middle models in between. Now, if you're using ChatGPT and let's say your API is or your website or your application is using an older version of ChatGPT, it needs to be updated to account for the latest models. So what I would recommend doing in this case is either refreshing your website, closing out of the browser that you're using and opening it up, or updating your ChatGPT application. So what you can do is make your way over into your app store just like this, and you want to search up ChatGPT. So just go through and search up for your ChatGPT application. And all you're going to want to do is update this app. So you can see right here, we have the update button. Just tap on that update button and allow the application to then go through and update. This is probably going to be the easiest way to kind of go through and fix and address this problem. Because if you're having an issue like this, this is going to be the easiest way to fix it. So try doing that. If that's still not working, you can try restarting your particular device. So go through slide to power off and you want to see if that ends up fixing the problem too. So those are kind of the main ways to go and fix it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, hold on.